Justin McRoy, my brother, my friend, my confidant. Griffin, I'm ready to stab some fools. Let's play Guy Stab 4, the latest entry in the popular hit franchise Guy Stab. Whoa. I am not doing a good job so far at just sort of driving. That is a bad start. Uh, or was it a good start? Because I'm sure I hurt him too in the exchange. I can't hear sound. What radio do you have on? Do you have Radio Free? Radio Free Roscoe. I have I have on uh, uh, Propaganda FM. Oh. I know. I, I just no. like it because here's the thing. The, the bad guy in Far Cry, Pagan Men, who I feel like has been like the most advertised thing about this game. Yeah, he uh, is. Because he's pretty great. Um... Uh, is sort of my favorite dude. Uh, he's I, not on the propaganda channel though. It's just like p telling you how rad he is. And I know, but there's the, a, there's a, light shines there's on some you. really great trumpets. Um, let's let's talk about Far Cry Four because I uh, I've been playing it for a few days now. I know that you are currently churning through it. You're on that grind yep. to get our review done. Um, uh, I'm curious to hear what you think about it because I, I've spent about maybe four hours with it so far. And so far, like, the only thing that I've been able to come up with to talk about is, gee, it sure reminds me of Far Cry 3, except that it is, it's moving a whole lot faster. Um, I'm, and, uh, and I don't hate the protagonist as much as I hated the protagonist in Far Cry 3. I'm going to stop short of, like, qualitative, try to stop short of qualitative statements, because, like, again, I only played about seven hours of it. No, actually, it's probably close to, like, eight this morning. But, um, so, you know, Whatever I say here may change or evolve as as I actually like yeah, get the give us little teasers. Is get what the I'm review like. done because like right now the the thing I'm struggling with is that it seems to be a very much a matter of taste. Like if you are in the mood for more uh, Far Cry like stuff, then you are gonna like this. Well, you should we should be careful because I, I think Far Cry Three was such a oh Jesus I almost said Far Cry. Um, from, from the games that preceded it, it was such a like transformative, huge game, and I think that's why so many people loved it. Is because I don't know, I th this franchise didn't. I really... guess I should be more specific than more Far Cry Three. Yeah, I guess I should say. Now that that being said, I don't think that it's th there are definitely some mechanical, uh, you know, changes here. Um, th there, it, nothing that I would say like so far that I've experienced like. Uh, merits a you almost know, you must ended that man's life but i didn't and that's the important thing i'm sure you didn't appreciate getting an arrow pointed at him but i didn't squeeze like, the trigger you saw a uh there was a grapple point over there yeah uh, uh that grappling is a new feature that's actually really neat where you can see a point on a on a mountain and kind of throw your grappling hook up there and you you have a lot of freedom to climb or or descend or jump off or actually use it to swing yeah to get to other areas it's oh you found a condom wonder excellent yeah health is kind of interesting you find these plants all over uh you just you just found one i think and uh you use those to make syringes that can boost your health that little plus two in the lower left hand corner is is to uh, health kits that you've made um or you can use them to make syringes that help you see enemies better or focus better or that kind of stuff so that's kind of interesting i do appreciate um, how they've streamlined that a little bit because you don't have to you don't have to craft that stuff you don't have to craft the healing syringes it just automatically makes them right you pick right up the, the the proper leaves um here i'm shutting down a tower which is a a, a ubisoft staple uh got to the top of this tower i'm gonna shut it down it's gonna open up the uh open up the map for me a little bit that's, I mean, again, not exactly a new thing. That is a Far Cry 3 thing. But, I mean, it's still as compelling as it's ever been. Wouldn't you have just thrown that off the edge? I That's think what I, I would have done. Yeah, you take a little... And you know what? You're running risk of shocking yourself, jamming a yep. knife in there like that. Yeah, that's risky. That's risky behavior. Uh, what if that's what, take, what takes you down? The other thing that's jumping out at me about Far Cry 4 is there are so many things to pick up. Like, look, there's a tiger eating a bear. I think they were just hugging. Oh, that's sweet. They're friends. That's gonna be on Upworthy later. Yeah, you won't believe what this tiger did to this bear. Killed it. Killed it. Maybe dead. You will believe it. Uh, um, let's look at this map. Let's see what I found. Looks like uh, we're in bear country. Ooh. Like, uh, look at all that that stuff. There's so much shit, you guys. It's crazy. Um, for right now, though, I think I want to boost up boost up my skills because I have like seven skill points. Wow, um, you've been sitting on those, huh? Nine skill points, actually. Nine skill points. Well, I did. I did a mission that gave me like a shit ton of experience. I, I yeah, still that don't know, stuff comes fast and furious. I still don't know which which sort of side I want to move to. I think this is an, a, a smart idea because it, it sort of 
uh, recognizes the two basic ways that people play Far Cry, um, right. which is the stealthy, skillful side, which is the tiger, and then the more hardy, run and gun side, which is the elephant. But the elephant also like includes a lot of crafting stuff. Yeah, I, I think of it like the elephant is the stuff that helps you stay alive, and the tiger is the stuff that helps you kill. Yeah. Um, um, and already, like, oh man, I don't know the the takedown stuff that I've gotten. I've just, I just, I guess I forgot because it's been a while since I played Far Cry Three. How sweet it is to like take somebody out and then pull their knife out and throw it at somebody else, or like take their pistol so after. It's so good every single time. Um, I don't know. I I had some problems with the original Far Cry Three in that it would take me like a lot of tries to um, knock out a compound um, be mm -hmm. because. I don't know. I didn't find the stealth elements of, of Far Cry 3 especially intuitive. Um, and I found it very... I know that you really liked how you could sort of improvise when things went south. Um, but I was I was very meticulous about like wanting to clear out every single compound without getting spotted, getting that extra experience point bonus. And I, I don't know. I think it's been either easier or maybe like a little bit faster for me to get uh, to the point where I can do that pretty confidently every time. I am not sure about this, but I think there are fewer uh, soldiers in, in, in the compounds typically than there are. Oh, this is good use. Well, I just wanted to show off the fire. Sure, um, it's great fire. Because it's still the best fire in gaming. It's, it's, it's wonderful fire. It's very good fire. Not very good arrow shooting on my part. Um, the H was O, and I dropped the ball. That's all right. At least you weren't recording a video for people to and watch. Now that is always dangerous. That that is one thing about Far Cry Four is if you get up on a guy who knows you're there, he is going to beat the he's living snot out of you really hard. And I it is going to suck. And he says, if you get up, I'll shoot you. And I wish that there was a way to just stay down. Be okay. like, okay, all right, all right, I'm all right, joining all right. up. All right, all right, all right. I'm on your team now. Uh, here's the grapple stuff. Um, oh, good. It's really fun. I, 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 I'm really terrible at uh, depth perception. Maybe it's my blind spot. Um, but I almost always want to swing, and you can detach from your grapple at any time. I always want to detach and do, like, some dope Indiana Jones shit. Um, but I'm almost always, like, not even close to the ledge, and I'll, I will there, die. There are also some areas where there are multiple grapple points like that, and you can actually kind of jump between them. Wingsuit! Bet you didn't see that shit coming. Well, how'd you get that? I bought it at a store. Really? Yeah, dog. I'll send you some pro tips after this. I, I found them in my latest Nintendo Power. <laughs> um, so let's, I have not unlocked that yet. It's easy. It's there. You just have to buy it. You're such Is a, it in the store? Yeah, you're such, it's so cheap. Oh, man. I know. Man, I've been wasting my time. Been wasting your time not wingsuiting around. Have you gotten places. a chopper yet? No. There's a little... It's not... When I say chopper, it's like a little... It's like, it's like a, a little, mini... Little guy pie. Little guy pie helicopter. Um, so here I'm scoping out the scene of this compound I found a couple piggy pigs over there a couple oinkos gonna check those out later um so yeah this I'm, is sort of like camp. this is case in point like sort of what i'm talking about um like i don't know i, I maybe I love it's, crap like this i love the whole like marking all the enemies and like setting up your approach i don't know uh, if this was the case in far cry 3 but i feel like in this game there's almost always a vantage point for you to like fully scope the the scene out mm -hmm. before before you get in there the one thing that I will say is there seem to be more fellas hanging out in interiors uh, uh, in, in Far Cry 4. Which I dig. Like, I did, I did creeping in a window and, like, taking those guys out first. And Memory then serves, there's a heavy in here. So extracting be, their bodies. Yeah, yeah, there, there is. I'm telling um, you to be careful, even though you've already captured this video. But still, be careful. Uh, I tried to call in some guns for hire there, uh, but uh, technically I'm on a mission right now, so it wouldn't let me do it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I will say that the game is usually pretty... Oh, how's your oh, neck meat? wow. I will say the game is usually pretty good about letting you just sort of do shit on your way to doing other shit, which mm -hmm. I certainly appreciate. Um, One thing that I don't like about Far Cry 4, and this is a small thing, but man, it, it, it bothers me. Sometimes when you do a takedown, the guy will say to you, No, wait! Oh, that is boy. the worst. <laughs> That's wow, really that does rough. not go down smooth at all. Um, that's brutal. I also like when before you take down one of these outposts, uh, it, when you look at it on the map, it tells you how many alarms are in the outpost. So there, I just knew that that was the only one. And if I take that out, then I'm basically good to just take my time and really luxuriate in the murder. Right. <laughs> um, savor the murder. Just really savor it. Mm, and you know I'm going to. This is, you know, this is daddy's recreation time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I sound extra creepy talking like this with my cold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. There's a guy. What am I going to do? A knife. Man, do you use those throwing knives? They're pretty great. <laughs> They're good. Um, like so, so I yeah, I don't know that I've been able to formulate especially deep thoughts about Far Cry 4 yet. I, the, my main point is that, like, I really liked Far Cry 3, but I felt like the sort of power curve there. I'm going to let this doggy out. Let him do his thing. I felt like the power curve of, like, progression... Uh, for for me to get to the point where I was playing the game, like I felt like it should be played, mm -hmm. uh, it took me a really long time to get there. And Far Cry 4, I think in general, is just sort of a faster game. Like it got me to where I wanted to be uh, for that satisfying gameplay a lot faster than Far Cry 3 did. I don't I don't think that it's you know as revolutionary as Far Cry 3 was, but I think it would be pretty hard for it to to do that. Yeah, it's 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 um. Russ Freshick joined a party, by the way. It's his yeah, first. Yeah, I just saw that. It's his, saw first, that update. his first party ever. Do you have anything? Like, just look in the, like, okay, just after that, right? There's all kind. oh, Karoti. Uh, there's all kinds of bodies to loot. There's all kinds of that kind of, so you can go through and get all their items. Then you have to sell their little items. And then there's, like, probably 50 treasure chests here. There's uh, probably a propaganda poster or three. There's, uh, there's, oh, you're going to kill one of those pigs? You probably need that pig skin. I'm going to kill both those pigs. I really like uh, you. Get I bet that must be kind of upsetting if you're like, yeah, we we got command of this outpost. This is going to provide a lot of. Oh no! Oh, well, he's just gonna. I named kill. I named that one Hamlet. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, oh some no. pig. Uh, uh, all right. So this is Far Cry Four. It's out now at your local video game retailer. Um, uh, should check it out. Justin's review, I assume, will be up as soon as he's done playing the game. Well, and then I have to like ponder. I have him. a I have a pipe. Yeah, I listen to some Bach. Yeah, I just like let it permeate. You got percolate. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll have more videos later this week. Bye. The following is an announcement from the Ministry of Communication.